गिवन क्वेश्चन टू आइडेंटिकल सिलिंडर्स इच वेइंग फाइव हंड्रेड न्यूटन आर प्लेस्ड इन ए ट्रफ एज शोन इन डायग्रेम डिटर्माइन दी रिएक्शन डेवलप एट कॉन्टैक्ट पॉइंट वन टू थ्री एंड फोर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दी गिवन सिस्टम देर आर टू आइडेंटिकल सिलिंडर्स ए एंड बी विच रेस्ट ऑन द इनक्लाइन सरफेस विच इज मेकिंग थर्टी डिग्री एंगल विद द होरिजोटल सिलिंडर बी इज इन कॉन्टैक्ट विथ वर्टिकल सर्फेस ऑल्सो नाउ इफ वी मार्क द पॉइंट फॉर द पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट देन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द रिएक्शन डेवलप एट पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट थ्री एंड फोर सो वी विल फर्स्ट ड्रॉ द फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम नाउ इफ वी जॉइन द सेंटर पॉइंट ए एंड बी देन द लाइन जॉइनिंग सेंटर पॉइंट ए बी is also parallel to the inclined surface because the both cylinders are identical cylinders and both rest on the inclined surface so we have to draw the cylinder a as well as cylinder b in such a way that the line joining the point a and b should make the 30 degree angle with the horizontal so here is the 30 degree angle now we will first draw the reaction forces related to cylinder a now with reference to diagram at point 2 is the point of contact in between cylinder a and b so the action we have to draw r2 which is towards the cylinder a and it is along the line ab so we can say that r2 that is the reaction r2 is parallel to the inclined surface then point 3 is also the point of contact now it is the point of contact with inclined surface so reaction develop should be perpendicular to the inclined surface now we know that r2 is parallel to the inclined surface so for this line joining ab we have to draw here one perpendicular line and this perpendicular line so reaction direction of this reaction r3 is towards the cylinder a now if i join this or if i extend this r3 then it must pass through the center point because when the system is in equilibrium all the forces should pass through one common point that means these forces are the concurrent forces now there is the weight 500 newton so we know that weight always acts in vertically downward direction passing through the center so we will mention here 500 newton now we will find out the angle made by r3 with this vertical line now if we observe r3 is perpendicular to the inclined surface and this vertical line is perpendicular to the horizontal line now the horizontal line and inclined surface making an angle of 30 degree so when these two lines if we extend then they meet at the point a so these two are the perpendicular line which also make the same angle that is the angle of 30 degree now we will move to the cylinder b so there is point of contact 2 so we have to show the reaction at point 2 but it is towards the cylinder b so this r2 is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction for the cylinder a as well as cylinder b then the weight is also given and this weight should pass through the center center point and should be in vertically downward direction so here is 500 newton now there is point of contact that is point 4 so it is the cylinder is in contact with inclined surface so we have to show the normal reaction that is the reaction should be perpendicular to the inclined surface so this ab line is parallel to the inclined a uh, uh, surface that we know so we have to draw one perpendicular line to this line ab and that will be reaction r4 so direction is towards the cylinder b so here is r4 now if we join this 
R4 extended to the center point. Then we know that R4 is perpendicular to the inclined line and this vertical line is perpendicular to the horizontal line. Now inclined surface and horizontal line making an angle 30 degree. So these two perpendicular lines also making an angle 30 degree at this common point because these two lines connect at this point P. So here is also angle 30 degree. Now cylinder P is also in contact with vertical surface at the point 1. So the reaction developed should be perpendicular to the vertical surface that is in horizontal direction. So R1 we have to show direction is towards the cylinder P. So this is the free body diagram. Now we have to find out the values of R1, R2, R3 and R4. So how to find out. Now we will first move to the cylinder A. If we observe R3 is perpendicular to the inclined surface, R2 is parallel to the inclined surface. And there is only one force which is in vertically downward direction. So we will resolve this 500 Newton force into two components. One component should be parallel to the inclined surface. So for this R2, if I take here one line parallel, and other component should be perpendicular to the inclined surface. So R3 is perpendicular. So if I take here parallel line R3, and here is the 500 Newton. So these are the two components. Direction is in the same direction of 500 Newton. Now how to decide its values? Now we know that these two lines are parallel to each other and this is the common vertical line. So here they also angle equal to 30 degree. So its a value because this component is nearby to 30 degree. Its a value is 500 cos of 30. And it is away from the 30 degree angle. So its a value is 500 sin of 30. Now we will move to the cylinder B. Now for this cylinder B, R1 is horizontal, 500 is vertical. So we will resolve here R4 and R2. So we will resolve R4 and R2 in vertical as well as horizontal component. So we have to draw the lines. So for the vertical component, I will resolve here R4 and horizontal component. Direction should be same as here given. And R2 and here is vertical component. Now we have to define its value. Now if we observe this 500 Newton and this vertical component are parallel to each other. And this R4 extended is the common line. So there is the same angle that is angle of 30 degree. And here also this R2 extended to joining to the center is common line and these two horizontal lines so here also angle same that is 30 degree. Now it is easy for us to find out the value. So what is this value for the vertical component? It is R4 cos of 30. R4 cos of 30. And here it is away from the angle so it is R4 sin of 30. Now in the same way for R2 we will say that this horizontal component is nearby to 30 degree so R2 cos of 30 and it is away from the angle so it is R2 sin of 30. Now we will move to the cylinder A. Now we will take summation of forces normal to plane is equal to 0. So which forces are normal to inclined surface? So here is R3 then this component 500 cos of 30. So both are having opposite direction. So if I take R3 positive sign then we have to take other as a negative sign. So R3 minus 500 cos 30 is equal to 0 and R3 is equal to 433 Newton. Now we will take summation of forces parallel to inclined plane is equal to 0. So here is R2 and here is 500 sin 30. Both are having negative both are having opposite direction. So if I take R2 positive, then other we have to take negative sign. 
So here R2 minus 500 sin 30 is equal to 0 and therefore R2 is equal to 250 Newton. So I will underline this because this is the answer that we have to find out R3 and R2. Now we will move to the next. Now for the cylinder B. So again we have resolved this into horizontal component and vertical component. So we will take summation of forces that is summation of all vertical forces. So if we observe which are the vertical components. So here R2 sin 30, R4 cos 30 and this 500 Newton. Now suppose for this downward direction if I take negative sign then for the upward direction we have to consider positive sign. So minus 500 plus R4 cos 30 minus R2 sin 30. Now if we observe we get the R2 value. So R2 is 250 so we can put here. So only one unknown term that is R4 and we will find out it R4 721.7 Newton. Now in the same way summation of all horizontal forces is equal to 0. So R1 is there, R2 cos 30 is and R4 sin 30. Now suppose R1 if I take positive sign then both are in the opposite direction. So we have to consider negative sign. So R1 minus R4 sin 30 minus R2 cos 30 is equal to 0. Now we get here R4. So we have to take R4 and R2 also we have calculated. So only one unknown term R1 and R1 is equal to 577.4 Newton.